Buying and setting up HiFi can be a confusing and daunting process. Throughout this five-part series, we talk to experts in the industry about some of the tips, tricks, and some of the myths. Once you have your speakers, how do you make sure you get the best out of them? Your room is as much a part of the system as the speakers, the amplifiers, the cables, and everything else. Where your speakers go in the room, massively important. In terms of speaker height, I want the tweeters, for instance, to be um, ear level. A bookshelf loudspeaker, it's designed to go on a bookshelf. It's not designed to go on the floor. Make sure that your speakers are centered to where your sofa is. Make sure your listening position is right. The ideal position for a stereo setup is trying to have a equidistant distance between um, the listeners and the two pair of speakers. And then we tow the speakers in, sort of directed at, at the, the, the listening position. If you've got a floor standing loudspeaker, you want to be at least two and a half times the height of that loudspeaker from that loudspeaker. It should be the same height. Um, you should have them at least, you know, at a minimum two metres apart. Um, try not to put any in a corner or too close to a boundary wall. You end up getting um, like a, a sort of a time smearing effect. Um, we get a bit of a bass boost if you start to position the speakers too close to the walls. Even though most of us can't do it because uh, having the speakers in the middle of your room, living room is clearly impractical. From the point of things like, you know, child safety or the fact that you've got a big boisterous dog that likes to run around. I've I've made compromises, I know that they're there, that's fine. Um, there's definitely not enough distance between me, me and the two speakers, for sure. The reality is, I live in the house, and I want to, I want to be able to enjoy the house as well. Putting them in roughly the right place, for 90% of listeners, is going to be fine. I've seen bookcase speakers deep in bookcases. As soon as you step a speaker back onto the shelf, what it's doing is it's reacting with its environment more and the sound waves are travelling along the shelf. And all you have to do to those speakers to make the system sound quite a lot better is just move them forward to the very front of the bookcase and you'll get a better audio. If you have a fairly echoey room, uh, the, the best is to start uh, putting some furniture and some material in it. A lot of the materials or, or soundproofing, deadening stuff in a listening room is there to emulate soft furnishings you might have at home. I would definitely uh, get hold of some setup source material. There's plenty about this all over Spotify. You can get discs, you can download stuff online. Maybe listen to something on the headphone first and try and get an idea of where stuff should be in, in a given track. Play the same track again through your hi-fi and be like, ah, okay. Really, really common mistake, really simply avoided just by paying attention when you're wearing it up. Speaker cables are terminated and colour coded to negative and positive. Uh, if you cross those over, then they're actually cancelling each other. If you suddenly seem like you've got no bass, if it's out of phase, it generally cancels. And it will also make it sound more sort of wide and expansive. A speaker is a vibrating box. And if you put it on a wooden floor, it will vibrate that wooden floor. Lots of speakers come with uh, the spikes or rubber mounts that go on the, the feet of the speakers. Um, if you've got a carpet, then we definitely um, recommend that you use the spikes. Um, if you've got hard flooring, then go for the rubber mounts, I'd say. You get them all in the box, try all of them. If you've got a record player right next to a speaker, which is going to vibrate into that record player, that's also probably not a beneficial thing. A little bit of optimization goes a long way. I find subjective, always. If it's not right for you, wrong, isn't it? Don't be frightened of trying things. Don't feel foolish for doing it. You'll surprise yourself how much a big difference things make. <laughs>